So hi everyone, I am very very happy to have with me a dear dear student, Dr. Anvesha Saha, and she has secured an amazing rank 15 in INICT May 2023. So heartiest congratulations, Anvesha. So proud of you. How are you feeling today? Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, it's uh, it's actually still sinking in. <laughs> yes. It will take some time to sink in because uh, I can understand. Know, yeah, I had given a good exam, but I had not expected uh, All India Rank of 15. <laughs> so. I am sure, and you know, thinking of the paper, ki mushkil tha, atypical tha, yeah. and then securing uh, a rank like this is absolutely, uh, you know, really, really something to be proud of and to be happy about. Yeah. And uh, Anvesha has been uh, a real hard worker. She had started her preparation with us at DAMS in, in the second year itself, right? So Anvesha, mujhe batao, do you think starting early was, was something that really helped you come this far? Yeah. Yes, ma'am, definitely. Like, uh, actually, uh, I, I have uh, been using my notes uh, that I had prepared from my second year through my third year and final year. Okay. Uh, and uh, those uh, notes have helped me a lot because those were my handwritten notes and they had this uh, visual uh, impression in my mind, a very long period of uh, visual impression, actually. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, that's, uh, that's very helpful because boy, uh, that brings a different kind of confidence in you when you know that you have been in the process for a long time and it's sort of, uh, it's sort of, um, helps a lot towards the end when you're revising. That's very rightly said. And Anvesha, now, uh, you know, let's let's go to the paper also and then let's keep coming back to your strategy. So, you know, when, when you had seen the paper, you know, when you were attempting the questions, what was the feel that you were getting at that time? How did you keep your calm? How did you manage your time? And how many questions do you think uh, you have attempted? Yes, ma'am. Uh, firstly, uh, actually, when I uh, started the paper, I was lagging a bit in uh, okay. my first hour. Uh, okay. I had completed around 40 questions. So uh, then I <laughs> then it uh, struck me that I have to increase my speed. So then I sped up and uh, uh, then actually, uh, I did not see the timer much. Like, uh, I realized that I have to go very fast now. Yeah. So, uh, by the end of the second hour into the last hour, I had okay. uh, completed nearly 160 questions, 170 questions. So, I was a bit at peace by then that now yeah. I can, yeah. And also, uh, I had jotted down the questions that I wanted to review. Uh, uh, I actually did not mark them for review. I just jotted them down so that I can go back so I had 10 minutes to myself uh, for reviewing the questions and also uh, I think it is very important that when we are attempting the paper the ma'am as you have said that to stay calm and to be very present in the moment like in that question yeah. to not be thinking of any previous question or uh, like something that did not occur to us like uh, anything of that sort. So uh, I think that is very important. And yes, uh, this paper was definitely, I would say, towards the more towards the moderate to difficult side. And but I think uh, basic concepts were tested. Um, yeah. And so I feel that uh, if someone has started early, like you have already mentioned, we've talked about. So if someone has started early, if the basics are strong, I think INICT is known for testing basic knowledge. Yes. So I think it was a doable paper. Wonderful. And how many questions did you attempt, Anvesha? Yes, uh, actually, uh, I have attempted 192 questions, ma'am. Okay. And um, I, w I did have the tendency to uh, maybe make a bit more of uh, guesswork, but uh, then to avoid negatives, I felt it would be safer to, because uh, I left the questions in which I had absolutely no idea, like okay. I had never even heard of, like, so. Yes, I, I think that I could rule out. Yeah, if I could rule out one option, then I attempted that question. I think that is a very wise thing to do. Because even if you've attempted with one option, you know, that is how it has to be that keeps you aggressive. But at the same time, you're not making any blunders and 
Exactly. I'm not avoiding uh, negatives by uh, doing some uh, unnecessary guesswork. Right. That's absolutely right. Okay. And what do you think would be the number of correct questions that you achieved, Anvesha? Uh, ma'am, I went through some of the recalls and uh, even though I, I actually I did not want to take the stress of going through recalls after the exam, I just wanted to rest my mind a bit. But uh, on an average, I think I got uh, 27 to 30 questions uh, wrong. So okay. uh, that leaves us with around 160, uh, 157 to 160 questions correct. Okay. Nice. And now, Anvesha, let's talk about the strategy, especially for INICT. Uh, you've yes. given the, your NEET PG exam also, and now you've given your INICT exam also. Would you want to specify some things in the preparation strategy, especially with respect to INICT? Yes, ma'am. Uh, firstly, uh, something that uh, I'm sure all the future aspirants are aware of, that uh, INICT is a very basic science predominant exam and so uh, that was my main focus uh, even during my last revision and also during my penultimate revision I had given more time like uh, around 60-40 uh, time uh, I had given to uh, first and second prof exam so I think that is a uh, the first thing that needs to be kept in mind and uh, also ma'am uh, I think time management is a thing uh, because yeah. in these exams in NEET compared to NEET INICET uh, gives you less than a minute uh, per question and they uh, actually ask you multiple correct kind of questions yes, yes. And so it becomes, uh, it is actually a, b a bit of a challenge to manage time and also read the questions carefully and answer. So uh, for this, actually, uh, ma'am, I had tried to solve as many questions as I could uh, during the last one month. Uh, I got uh, two months after NEET to prepare for INICT. So during that time, uh, I used to solve uh, 100 questions per day and I used okay. to set a timer. So that uh, I can complete uh, 100 questions in 30 to 40 minutes, like to be ahead of time. And uh, so I think that is very important. These two points were the main uh, things that I focused on where, during this transition from uh, NEET preparation to INICT preparation. Great. And Anvesha, because, you know, we've seen the papers over a period of time, and I think even INICT now is becoming a theory intensive paper. So do you think in that way, revising your notes still remains like the key thing? And if you know it well, you really don't need to do atypical or weird things to get a good rank, and you can manage it by exclusion and opting out the options? Yes, ma'am, definitely. Uh, even uh... Ma as you have said ma'am uh, it's there are a lot of there were a lot of questions in which um, things from your notes will directly come to you in the exam and like you said that uh, of course there are a good amount of questions which are uh, practical oriented but for INICET per se um, I think the like um, how do I put this? Uh, there were questions in which I did not uh, spend. I spent less than 30 seconds okay. only because uh, those were things from my notes, which yeah. I had read many times, as you mentioned, revised many times. And it just came into a sort of a reflex kind of a thing. I had solved those questions. So uh, that that plays a role in time management as well, so that you can dedicate more time to questions which demand uh, you to read the questions and rule out and spend more time so i think it is a very wise idea uh, it's a very wise idea to actually uh, be able to revise your notes as many times as you can because it helps both in of course concept building as well as uh, knowing things very concretely and very confidently so that you can manage time in your while attempting the paper. Right. And Anvesha, can you guide us on, on what exactly was your revision strategy? Let's say a month before the exam, what, what were the things that you were really doing in that period? Yes, ma'am. Um, 
firstly i had divided uh, my time my uh, timetable in such a way so that uh, before the exam i had around 15 days uh, to go through the entire syllabus in which again i ensured that i can give more time to the first and second prof subjects okay. and um, accordingly i had planned the last 15 days and before that like after neat basically i had one round of revision and okay. um during that time i would uh, there were certain topics that i had made a list of which i knew were uh, my weaker points yeah so not uh, subjects per se or not like large topics but then uh, short parts from the like certain classifications and scoring systems so i used to uh, i actually used to take a snap of my own notes and save it so that uh, before going to bed or maybe uh, when i am uh, taking a break i can just go through because again as i mentioned in the beginning visual memory plays a very important role so rather than looking at some other source or some other uh, place for those concise things i took snaps from my own notes so that i can uh, go through them so that was one way in which i ensured that uh, i could revise the things which are volatile great and and you know anvesha uh, you have also sort of uh, done dvt for need but do you think it was really helpful for revision close to the exam also yes ma'am yes uh, ma'am uh, dvt as a whole uh, was very helpful because uh, uh, it has put the entire syllabus entire 19 subjects in such a concise manner that uh, there was actually uh, no need to run helter skelter looking for uh, how to concise the stuff and uh, i it's a really difficult job to be revising uh, the entire syllabus in the last 15 days or so before the exam so dvt in that way has been in fact as i told you i used to take snaps i used to take snaps from my dvt pages also like <laughs> to go through in the last month so that was very helpful yes right and uh, what about practicing questions you know you already said you were doing like 100 questions yes. but how vital is to give the tests you know we we've yes. given you around five mock tests this time on yes. the app and we had arranged cbts as well so do you think that close to the exam it's also about testing yourself a lot yes ma'am uh, i think uh, the gts and also the cbt that uh, dams has offered has uh, helped me a lot uh, especially when i was reviewing uh, those tests uh, mm. so at times i felt that uh, maybe uh, some questions were a bit difficult but then uh, even reviewing those questions gave me an edge because uh, while maybe going through those uh, slightly difficult topics i was actually also strengthening my concept of the very basic stuff uh, on like at first glance those questions might appear difficult but those were right. actually very necessary to uh, learn the basic concept so uh, i found cbt is very helpful and also solving questions regularly with a timer to be very helpful in the final exam all right yes so that is that is uh, a great great advice because you know unless you really know what your weak zones are you don't know how to sort of work on them and yes. uh, now uh, anvesha i want to ask you uh, any particular subjects that you would want to comment on for the preparation of ini ct exam uh ma'am uh subjects uh ma'am of course your subject uh, obgy has been one of my uh, stronger points because ma'am your notes and your way of teaching has really helped me a lot like every time i came oh, kind of you thank you <laughs> even after my november iicet after my neat after my may iicet every time i used to uh, come back home and tell my mother who also happens to be a gynecologist wow, i used to okay. tell her that uh, deepthi ma'am's notes and the way she taught has been very helpful and also because uh, obgy is uh, carries so much weightage yeah. in 
both INICT as well yeah. as NEET. So I think it is very important to be to have a strong concept built in OBGY. And uh, of course, uh, I think uh, pathology and okay. uh, pathology uh, notes of dams were i am i'm so proud of my notes <laughs> they like uh, they are very organized very concise i did not have to like seek out any other source because uh, i had everything there and very well organized and very conceptual and uh, all the first and second prof subjects for inict super important along with that uh, obgy and psm of course psm right. also has yeah. carried a lot of weightage in this exam. Wonderful. All right. So which branch do you want to pursue, Anvisha? Uh, Ma'am, I'll be trying for medicine. And okay. uh, hopefully by the grace of God, I'll be able to secure a seat. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, I'm sure you will. And here's wishing you a very, very bright future ahead, uh, Anvesha, from the entire Rams family. Is there anything that you would want to specially speak about to your colleagues or whoever is sort of listening to this interview and tell them about your mindset and, and something other than academics that you feel is an important part of your strategy as well? Yes, ma'am. Uh, what I felt very strongly is that uh, I think uh, we are at an age where we are being bombarded with so much information, so many sources, so many, um, I don't know, so many places to look for uh, mm -hmm. motivation and inspiration. But yeah. uh, I think the entire, not the entire, but a very big chunk of the responsibility and the, uh, the, the process is our own. So uh, whatever source we are using or whatever uh, all the faculties who help us uh, through this journey, uh, all of that should be utilized very carefully and very, in a very concise way so that, uh, you know, we, we don't... Uh, we don't actually uh, mess up uh, things by looking into too many sources. And uh, also it is very important to stay calm. It's easier said than done. But um, I have felt it in my last uh, one month before INICT because after need to push for two more months was very exhausting. But yeah. uh, of course, my family has been very supportive. So I hope that uh, even the future aspirants who will be trying for the next upcoming exams, um, I wish they can stay, keep their calm and organize their preparation in such a way so that uh, things don't get jumbled up and things uh, remain in a concise way in our mind so that we are able to uh, able to bring out our best in those three three and a half hours uh, of the exam that's a great piece of advice it's always good to concise to strategize and then study rather than just you know ensuring the number of hours right? exactly exactly so it was wonderful uh speaking with you today and Vesha, and thank you for making dams a part of your journey uh, we wish you a very bright future ahead and, and may you always keep shining like this. So all the very best, Bache. And congratulations to your parents as well. And please give them my regards. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, Anvesha. Take care, Bacha. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Bye.